Hey everyone, and welcome back to New Suicide Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie, and today I want to talk to you about this amazing image that I found online of a sand sculpture that was actually built over in Taiwan, and I thought it looked really cool. This had to be like a really tall sand sculpture. There's an event going on where I think about 15 sand sculptors collaborated together to make these beautiful sculptures, and I think they're only going to be up there for a limited time between, I think it was June 8th eighth or something like that until like october 22nd so if you ever have a chance and you ever plan on going to taiwan that might be a great stop for you guys to bask in its amazingness so i'm going to go ahead and get into the details in just a bit but before we do that be sure to like comment subscribe and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything and also follow me on my social media especially tiktok as i'm going to be posting there often and talking about other superhero related things besides marvel spider-man 2 which is what i really mainly talk about on this channel but occasionally i like to talk about other things like what's going on in the mcu and of course the dc side and i'm going to start doing that more often so i would appreciate you guys if you take the time to watch those videos i know that you mainly come to this channel to watch my marvel spider-man 2 content and while i do appreciate that i am also pretty passionate about other things that's happening in the superhero world so definitely follow me on my tiktok if you want to catch those those videos are only going to, be, are going to be like about maybe two or three minutes long and i promise you they won't be like too too long so it's nothing that uh will take your attention or time away from anything else that's going on in your lives let's talk about this amazing sand sculpture over there at taiwan and this article is coming from marvel.com as always marvel spider-man 2 comes to life in a giant sand sculpture in taiwan one catches the amazing sight in 2023 Fulong International Sand Sculpture Art Festival. Summer seating up, and so is anticipation for Marvel Spider-Man 2. Between the first look at the gameplay and the latest announcements for pre-order bonuses, we're counting down the days until the game arrives on October 20th, 2023. In the meantime, if you're headed to the beach, we know just the place. Check out the awe-inspiring details in this large life sand sculpture of Marvel Spider-Man 2, now on display at Fulong Beach in New Taipei City, Taiwan, from June 6th to October 22nd, 2023. I said October 8th or June 8th, I'm sorry, uh, at the very beginning, but yes, June 6th to October 22nd. Um, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day, celebrate Disney 100, Disney's 100th anniversary. Through the same uh, theme of this year's 2023 Fulong International Sand Sculpture Art Festival, Disney Centennial Celebration. With 66 sculptures representing classic and iconic scenes from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, and Avatar, the exhibition has a lot to offer for visitors of all ages. 15 sand sculptors gathered from around the world to collaborate and create these one-of-a-kind displays. See Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and Venom as you've never seen them before and ahead of the game's release by viewing this sand sculpture while it lasts. If you're lucky enough to be in Taiwan during this time, we know you'll be in the photo mode constantly. And these uh, sand sculptures, I mean, like from every angle, whoever took these pictures actually managed to get a good close-up, a distance, a close-up shot of the Marvel Spider-Man 2 logo, and of course, you know, a bottom point of view kind of uh, shot of Marvel Spider-Man 2. And the level of detail is just incredible and, and like really impressive. Um, there you can see it's pretty much a recreation of the promotional art that we got at the reveal when Brian Intahar and Insomniac Games in general just revealed some more new art for the game and of course the release date a little while ago a few weeks back actually a little earlier this month and it showed venom and fighting both peter parker spider-man and miles morales in the background about to attack venom in the back with a bioshock uh move um and they just recreated this and the amount of detail is just incredible honestly i don't know how long it took to create such a thing like this but my god it, it's just amazing to see it realized you know in real life and I don't know how it is that they do that without even messing it up or stepping on it or anything like that. Uh, wouldn't it suck if like some random kid just like threw something at it or just knocked it over or touched it or anything like that? But I doubt that they can mess it up that easily because this sand sculpture is supposed to be pretty tall from what I know. And um, it probably stands like about maybe I want to say 15, 20 feet tall, something like that. 
but it's still impressive nonetheless and i just love it and i love how like the buildings are like stacked on one another and beside each other overall impressive amazing level of detail this is just amazing craftsmanship and yeah um i know it's a bit of an old news it actually just came out only a couple days ago but i wanted to just talk about it really and that's pretty much it so thanks for tuning in i know it's a bit of a short one as always, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell in case you all don't miss anything. Let me know what your thoughts are about this amazing sand sculpture. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next comic panel.